All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. The name of the video is A Turf War. A Chicago gang clashes with Venezuela and Trinidad Aragua. Guys, does that absolutely surprise you? It shouldn't. Like, specifically, if you've been following along, guys, it shouldn't surprise you at all. So Venezuelan gang members moving into Chicago have caught the attention of the city's local counterparts, bringing tensions to an all-time high. Our next guest is a former gang member who now runs a violence prevention program and warns that the city may go up in flames fearing an all-out turf war. Tyrone Muhammad is the founder and CEO of Ex-Cons for Community and Social Change, and he's been kind enough to join us. Now, Tyrone, thanks so much for joining the program. So l l let's, let's first, before we get into the criminal element, talk about the money that's being spent, because I, I know you talk about the community and building uh, those black communities and, and, and Hispanic communities in Chicago that were affected before this crisis. They're spending $464 million on this crisis. Can you all be using that money somewhere else? Absolutely. You know, I don't know at any household, Lawrence, where you yourself would pay my mortgage before you pay your own. Mm -hmm. That is really, that would be considered crazy. Absolutely. So that's the very fact that our government believe with all the issues and systemic disinvestment that's happening to all these communities throughout America, that you were in our face when, the, for, uh, specifically Chicago, where black voters have voted for one party consistently and, and, and religiously, that that party would not listen to the voters or the community to say, us first, we should be first, put us first. And the very notion that anyone would have the audacity to think that uh, non-citizens should go before the black community and, and the most impoverished communities is asinine. Yeah. And so this is the thing here, guys. I would say the most important part of what he just said is that, uh, yeah, black Americans for the most part overwhelmingly vote Democrat, right? But yet, if you keep, if you pay close attention to what actually happens uh, throughout the years, uh, you'll start to realize that um, you're getting nothing from it. Like nothing, not a single thing. Uh, party loyalty is basically squandered uh, within the Black American community. Right? Um, what he just said, systematic uh, disinvestment is incredibly accurate, I'd say, uh, with certain areas, specifically Chicago, specifically the south side of Chicago, where it's literally a desert, um, meaning um, food deserts, economic deserts, uh, business deserts, guys, a proper food desert, education desert, all healthcare deserts, you name it, that's that area, right? And then to know that the city itself spends almost a half a billion dollars on people that are not from there, Okay, um, when you could literally funnel a good amount of that money into the south side of Chicago and fix it immediately, you can fix it immediately. I mean, it's really a slap in the face. So it now is. You, so that's the first part of this problem. The second problem is that you got the gangs that are coming in now. Twenty de Agua is now fighting with the local gangs, and this is this is on top of an already problem right now. You got robbery that's up twelve percent, aggravated battery is up thirteen percent, murder vehicle theft is up forty three percent, and you inviting them in to go against now the local gangs already in Chicago. Explain to us what's happening on the ground. So let me just say this. We just heard about um, a, a vice president who said she, she specialized in locking up and arresting transnational gangs <laughs> while the very party that she's a part of, the policies with the sanctuary cities and, and the border crisis, she support. And <laughs> now the influx of it is, which is oxymoronic at the same time, now we have to fight transnational gangs and, and, and the uh, influx of, of, of these men who we don't know where they come, what crimes they committed, and the violence that they've been involved with thus far. With that being said, we are on the front line every day, making sure that our communities are safe. And it's really not about the black community. This is just the beginning. Yeah. Because violence anywhere is violence everywhere. America should be afraid that this can happen in American cities, one of the biggest cities, most tourist, one of the biggest tourist attracting cities in the country, that we can watch this happen um, 
all over the country and not Such be outraged. Point. And this is the policies, sir. This is what I'm saying, Lawrence. It's the policies that has affected our community and has turned uh, black people, black communities against the current administration. You know, Tyrone, you hit it on the head. Just because they invited him into our communities to stay, took our resources in black America, that doesn't mean that the criminal element is not going to spread nationwide. And That's you've been right. on the front line of this. I look forward to having you back, Tyrone. Thank you so much. Well, the thing about it is we've definitely seen uh, instances of them pretty much in a lot of our states currently. Uh, we've seen the issue that happened at UGA, um, in the, some of the Texas towns, guys, uh, Aurora, Colorado, uh, New York, all over New York. A lot of the cases are actually happening in New York, right? Um, but of course, with Chicago being such like literally a desert, uh, then you bringing people in, um, funding them, but not actually funding the area is troubling. And knowing that they are the ones who are voting you into uh, politics and you just basically squander it because, you know, you know, they're not going to vote Republican. Right. You know that. So you don't care to do anything to actually uh, benefit them. It's the most ridiculous setup I've ever seen in my entire life, right? Absolutely. But that's the game, unfortunately. That's it. Uh, they need to literally change uh, exactly who they're voting for, if that's the case. If you're voting for someone and they're not benefiting you in any by any manner, then maybe it's time for you to look somewhere else, personally. Like, if you have a problem with all of what's happening in your city, it may be time to look somewhere else. Get these people out of your, your, your city, right? Get them out. Get them out immediately. But all right, listen, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I do think that um, this is not going to um, change anytime soon. I don't think so, because, again, it's going to be the same thing next year. It's going to be the same thing. Uh, well, end of this year, um, that's going to be the same thing next four years, the same thing and, and more and more and more of the same um, literal thing. So until you're actually ready, right, until it's enough, until you realize that enough is enough is enough, um, you, you have to change, um, for the most part, the ideology. Right? You, have to, you have to change this. Right. Um, so we saw a video the other day with this guy in it. I think it was yesterday, actually. Um, and it was crazy. Right. It was absolutely crazy. It was like, listen, um, you're waiting for someone to come and help the situation. But I think you actually have to um, occasionally right, uh, help yourself in some of these instances, specifically if the people you're voting for are consistently voting for, uh, religiously voting for, basically, are not doing anything. It's just time. Right. Maybe it's time to look elsewhere. Right. Just a thought, guys. But all right, listen, uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.